uh, atheists because the you know the atheist first world problems came out and it's basically uh, a study a, a study was released um, it's uh, one of those uh, Pew studies Pew it's uh, one of those studies by Pew and uh, basically what this study was it was it was asking people uh, giving them certain sort of traits or characteristics or uh, things about possible elect uh, candidates in elections and whether or not they would be more or less likely to vote for this candidate based on uh, the fact that they had this trait. There were things like served in the military, um, they've never run for office, they're a woman, um, they're gay, they're Hispanic, they are Catholic. And one of them was atheist. And atheists scored a whopping 70... No, what was it? No, 53 which was the highest fucking least... 53% of people said they were less likely to vote. That's only, that was the highest by 1%. Second place was people who've never held office. So people who've never held office, and people, so if you're an atheist who's never, who doesn't believe in God, you are 105% less likely to be elected. Uh, there needs to be some sort of put in th this to be put in perspective. People are saying they're less likely. They're not saying they wouldn't, right? But also, you've got to take this as an accumulative thing, because there's no one who is just one thing. I mean, if you are a... If you are someone who's sort of like, you're in your 70s, and you you once used marijuana, and you've got Washington experience, you are, you are accumulatively, like, about 45% less likely to have people vote for you. If you're an evangelical Christian, who once had an affair, and, you know, you used marijuana, you, you know, you've got... Less, so all of these things in perspective are going to be different. Um, but, like, of course, the problem here with this, and of this study in general, um, apparently, a, so apparently, let's take this, but let's take this as this, as it was advertised, atheists are the least trusted group in America. Um, well, you know, I've got to ask you this, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I can, I have to say, you know, I'm shocked by that, because having been someone who has spent the last six years, you know, watching and being involved in uh, pretty, you know, very much involved in the online atheist uh, communities and um, and witnessing uh, over the last six years um, the sort of what what it has become and how this sort of movement, if you will, that is you know it's not a movement and it's not it's not activism. It's it's mainly primarily people trolling on the internet. Or it's people fucking just go, say, just getting writing blogs or doing conferences. That's really it. Not that I'm saying there aren't atheist activists out there. That's fine. But a lot of people like to think they are. And I'm not being funny. I, I can't really say that the atheists here have done themselves any favours. Because, you know, what are we? What are you going to do about this if this bothers you? I mean, I, do you think maybe, you know, it's a good idea that you continue to call all religious people irrational idiots and deluded fucktards? Do, should, you, should you continue to use the worst and most extreme examples of every sort of theist and use that as a way of tarring all other religious people with the same brush, even though the majority of them do fuck all of any fucking merit whatsoever? You know, do you think you want to go around claiming that, you know, religious people are a threat to freedom, equality and human rights, even though fucking the majority of people who support secularism in many countries like America and support, you know, equal rights groups and gay rights groups and this era are actually fucking people who are religious. It's not like atheists are the only ones who care, you know. Do you think maybe you should stop going around declaring that all men, all religious belief is based is basically just a mental illness that has yet to be confirmed or, you know, brought out by, you know, psychology due to a massive conspiracy, you know, that only atheists have figured out because they're at, they've plugged themselves out of the fucking matrix. You know, do you think that's the ticket? Because, I, you know, that, that won't change things for me. You know, that, that's kind of what I think's not helped. You know, I mean, if this study is anything to go by, then maybe, just maybe, it's time for, like, you know, all of you angry, angry anti-theists out there, and I get it, I was, I'm, you know, I was angry and young once too. I get it, right? I've been there. But it's not, the fucking way to go. It won't do you or anyone any fucking favours, okay? It's the last thing you need, right? You know, there's... <coughs> pardon me. Um, if this study's anything to go by, I'm just saying that, you know, whilst there's nothing wrong with being an atheist. I am an atheist, right? We know this. You know, I say atheist, what I mean is secret Muslim slash crypto Jew. Right? But there's also nothing... I'm sorry to tell you this, but there's nothing great 
or amazing about being an atheist. It's just not very. It's just not as common, right? There's nothing noble about the fact that you just don't believe in God. And just because you don't believe in God, and because believing in God may very well just be the most sort of rational and reasonable position to take, does not mean that you came to it because you're a more rational and reasonable pe- person. You may very well have come to it for the same fucking reason that someone comes to the idea of belief in God. They just happen to have lived a life that has resulted in them believing many things. And that's one of them. You know, it's not because you're some sort of super genius. You know, it's not a badge of honour. And contrary to a lot of people's popular opinion, I know they like to trot out the occasional study here and there, right, just because you're an atheist doesn't mean you are automatically better, more intelligent, rational, logical, appreciative of science, and morally superior to anyone else on the planet who happens to also believe in God. You know? And before anyone... And I know before... And, and I can already tell people are going to react to this. Before you try and pull out the old Bible quotes about what the Bible says about religious... About non-believers and about, you know, all these people who... Are, what, what, you know, the fall of sin in his heart and, you know, we don't have a moral compass and we're evil and shit like that. Right? Let me ask you this, right? If what the Bible teaches is the most... Or, in fact, only relevant factor in determining how theists and other religious people view and... Uh, think of atheists, then how do you account for the fact that in this very same study that shows atheists are the least trusted, gay people, right, they got only 27% of people said they were less likely. That's nearly half. That's one percent, that's half a percent away from being, from being exactly 50%, right? Now, I don't know if you've read the Bible, I'm pretty sure if you haven't, you're fully aware that there's something jotted down there, you know, a couple of pages, about, about queers, Right? And if I'm being frank, it's not the most politically correct stuff. Right? So, atheists out there, I know, I know, right? it, it, it's dreadful. I know religion is, is horrible, right? It's just, it's ridiculous. But, you know, just stop. But here's the thing you've got to do, right? Stop blaming everyone else. Only people who, I know this sounds corny, cornier than a fucking squirrel's Boxing Day shit. But be the change you want to be. Because if you go around acting and fulfilling every negative stereotype that is forced upon you, right, then you've got no one to blame for yourself if it never dies down. Unless, of course, you don't want it to die down so you can sit there and whine about how fucking persecuted you are. Stop whinging. Stop blaming yourself and everyone else for your bad reputation. Stop acting like you're the for want of a better term, chosen ones, and get over yourselves. You don't have to be... Now, I'm not saying you should sit there and be calm and quiet and sit in the corner and comply, be an Uncle Tom atheist, if you will, like that fucking... What's that stupid cow on MSNBC? S.E. Cup. You know, good tits. But, I mean... But, I mean, idiot. Right? You know, I mean, I'm an atheist too. Wink, wink, peace be upon him. But I'm also... But the funny thing is, I'm the kind of guy who, because I have this view, I'm I'm tarred and and, you know... I'm I'm sort of a thrown I'm thrown out of the club by people by these aggressive militant anti-theists right who label me a weak atheist right I am 34 fucking years old and do you know how long I've been an atheist right exactly as long as I've been fucking alive I've been an, I'm a I'm a 34 fucking years three and a half fucking decades. Right? And never once have I been religious or believed in God and that's not bad for a guy who's apparently a weak atheist isn't it? It's macho. P- posturing this strong atheist, weak atheist horseshit. And to all of you so humble atheists who like to say that you are a strong atheist, whereas I am a weak one and you're a strong atheist, let me just point something out. You don't believe in God any more than I don't believe in God. And when you say weak atheist, what you're really saying, do you know what you're really saying? You're saying heretic. That's all it is. It's just a fucking alternative version. It's sinner. Infidel, apostate, you know, you are, that's all you're doing. You're going around and trying to guilt trip people and you're labeling them as being, you know, as being the bad ones. They're weak or, you know, weak pussy atheists. Oh, blow me. You know, the, you know what a big sign of, of people who are weak are banging on about how strong they are. And if you're one of these people who goes on about, you know, I'm a strong atheist, you're a weak atheist, fuck these weak atheists. If you're, if you're that sort of person, next time you're, in, you're talking to, not talking to, talking past, shouting at, trolling, abusing, whatever, you're having an interaction of some kind with some, you know, religious person, and they throw that classic fucking, you know, bog standard, you know, in case of emergency, break glass argument of saying, atheism is just a religion too, right? 
before you sit there and have a go at them, bear this in, remember this, right? Remember what I've just said, because by your fucking standards, it is. And you, are, you have made it one, right? And that's not them that did that, that's you. You've turned it into one because you've started telling people what an atheist should and shouldn't do and should and shouldn't be. If it's all about just not believing in God, then that's all it fucking should be. And anything else is fucking up for discussion. Right? You want to turn it into religion, fine. But if you're going to make it a religion, then what's the fucking point in being an atheist in the first place? There is no point to it. So I ask you, please, ladies and gentlemen, can't we all just get the fuck... Oh, bollocks to it.